Hello there and welcome to your next math lesson. Today's math lesson is subtract mixed numbers. So yesterday we added mixed numbers. Today we're subtracting mixed numbers. And the good news is it's pretty much exactly the same except that you subtract instead of adding. So you follow these steps. Step one, make common denominators. And this is exactly like in yesterday's lesson. By the way, if you haven't done yesterday's lesson, pause this video, go do yesterday's lesson first, and then do today's lesson. Step two is subtract the whole number or the whole numbers or the whole number part. So it's mixed numbers. So the minuend and the subtrahend both have a whole number part and a fraction part. Subtract the whole number part. And step three is subtract the fraction part. And step four is simplify. Now, sometimes you can't follow these steps without changing something before you can subtract the whole number part and before or before you can subtract the fraction part. Sometimes there's a step you have to do before you can get to step two and three, but that's what we're going to talk about in tomorrow's lesson. We won't be getting into that today. Today we're, today we're going to follow these four steps to subtract mixed numbers. So let's say we have five and three-fourths minus two and one-half. These are both mixed numbers because they have a whole number part. That's the five and the two and, and a fraction part, three fourths and one half. So the way we'd say these is five and three fourths minus two and one half. Step one is make common denominators. So what we have to do is find the LCM for four and two. Many of you can already tell that's four. You know two can evenly fit into four which means four is the LCM. So we're gonna make a new fraction next to one half. It's going to have four as a, as a denominator, but it's going to be equivalent to one half. And that's going to make it a like fraction with three fourths, so that'll make it so we can subtract. Okay, now, what? how do we find out what this new fraction will be? How do we find the numerator? We multiply from the old denominator to the new denominator. Two times two is four. And then whatever we do to the bottom, we do to the top. Since we multiplied two by the denominator, we have to also multiply two by the numerator. One times two is two. Next, subtract the whole number part. Five minus two is three. Step three, subtract the fraction part. Three minus two is one, and the denominator four stays the same. Step four is simplify, but Three and one fourth does not need to be simplified. The fraction part of three and one fourth is a unit fraction. Unit fractions can never be simplified any more than they already are. So three and one fourth is already in simplest form. Let's do another example together. Let's say we have six and five sevenths minus three and three sevenths. Okay. So. Step one is make common denominators. In this one, we can skip that step because they're already like fractions. Five sevenths and three sevenths both already has, have seven as their denominator. So we can skip to step two, which is subtract the whole number part. Six minus three is three. Step three, subtract the fraction part. Five sevenths minus three sevenths is two sevenths. And step four is simplify. Three and two sevenths is already in simplest form because if you list the factors for two, they're one and two. If you list the factors for seven, they're one and seven. The GCF is one, so two sevenths is already in simplest form. So three and two sevenths is your final answer. Let's do another one together. Let's do seven and eight ninths minus five and one third. Step one is make common denominators. So eight ninths and one third are not like fractions. We have to make them into like fractions. 
Many of you can already see that 9 will be the LCM because you know that 3 can evenly fit into 9, which means 9 will be our new denominator. Now, 8 ninths already has 9 as its denominator, so we don't need to make a new fraction there, but we do need to change 1 third so that it is a like fraction with 8 ninths. That, that means we'll give it a denominator of 9. We multiply from our old denominator to our new denominator. 3 times 3 equals 9. Whatever we do to the bottom, we do to the top. 1 times 3 is 3. Okay, now we subtract the whole number part. 7 minus 5 is 2. Then we subtract the fraction part. 8 ninths minus 3 ninths is 5 ninths. Step 4 is simplify. We know 5 ninths is already in simplest form. 5 is a prime number, and it can't fit into 9. So that means you can't simplify 5 ninths any more than it already is. And if you weren't sure about that, you can just try, just see what happens when you try to simplify it. So if we tried to simplify it, we list the factors of 5, which are 1 and 5. And we list the factors of 9, which are 1, 3, and 9. And since 1 is the GCF, 5 ninths is already in simplest form. So 2 and 5 ninths is our final answer. Okay. Let's do one more together, and then, and, th and then I'll give you some independent work. 15 and 11 twelfths minus 4 and 1 third. So step one is make common denominators. You can see that 12 will be the LCM because 3 can fit evenly into 12. So we're going to give 1 third a denominator of 12. What times 3 equals 12? 3 times 4 equals 12. Whatever you do to the bottom, do to the top. 1 times 4 equals 4. Now we subtract. We subtract the whole number part first. 15 minus 4 is 11. Okay. 11 minus 4 is 7. And the denominator 12 stays the same. So the final answer is 11 and 7 twelfths. And 7 twelfths also doesn't need to be simplified because if you list the factors of 7, they're 1 and 7. If you list the factors of 12, they're 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The GCF is 1, so 7 twelfths is already in simplest form. And we could have found that out faster because we know 7 is a prime number and it can't fit evenly into 12. Therefore, it's already in simplest form. Okay. Now I'm going to give you some independent practice. I want you to solve 13 and 9 tenths minus 4 and 2 fifths. Go ahead and do that one independently and then click on the video attached under this one to see if you did it correctly. And I will see you there. Signing off.